Okay, today I'm going to make a video on one of these boxes that I got, the sketch box. I got three months subscription to see if I like it, and if I like it, I will get more. I just opened the thing, but I haven't gone through it yet. I don't know what month this is because I collected like the three boxes before I started because I figured I'd do them on videos. And we'll find out. I think it'll say inside which month this is. I don't know what that is in there. I'll be reusing that box, though. Nice, sturdy boxes. So let's see what we've got. Okay. We've got art by... Dustin Spagnola, a contemporary visual artist and painter. So I guess he's into portraits. That's beautiful. I guess this is an ad thing. All right, this tells you what you got. I don't see anything that says what month this is. I know in my other one it had what month it was. In my, um, what, the one I, the Scarlet box, it said what month it was. So I don't know what month this is. But let's see what they have. They have one of these. I have loads of these, but you can always use another one. Sketchbox Signature Pigment Powder Bundle. And it gives you the price of what these would cost if you buy them. I guess you're making your own watercolors. There's no book in here. Ah, mix your own watercolor box. This ought to be fun. It's got the gum Arabic that you mix the binder for it. It's got a chisel brush. Ooh, that looks nice. don't have any chisel brushes. It's got a Stabilo. I've got tons of these too. In brown. In the palette. And it's got an aqua pad. Uh, 140 pound, 300 GM. A6. 4x6. So. Let's try it. I will try mixing colors. Let's see. If, does it give you instructions on? Well, that's very strange because I always thought there was a some kind of instruction on how to mix it. Maybe it's on it. I'm going to open it up and see what colors we've got. Yes, I am using my teeth to open it. I need to stop doing that before I don't have any teeth left. This is a yellow. Oh, a Sketchbox Signature Pigment Primary Yellow. Hopefully they're all the primaries. A primary Red. And I'm guessing this will be Primary Blue. Primary blue. All right. Now I don't see anything on here that tells you how much to mix up. So, well, that's disappointing. I really thought a magazine came with, or a book came with all of them. And all I got were these three cards. I'm not missing any. Oh, and I got the sticker. Not missing anything. Hmm. We'll mix a small amount and see what we get. Let's move, move the paper. Get a paper towel here to. Mix them with gum arabic to make your own watercolors. Okay.
I don't know how big a mix you need. Something here to mix it with. I'll use this brush. And we'll see what happens. Let's try one of each. Ugh. It's a very interesting idea. Thinking a scoop should be enough. I bet this stuff could get messy. I guess I can mix it with a brush. Let me clean this off a little. I don't want to get the red and the yellow mixed. You'll see. Ugh. Get better in the in the shot here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm just mixing it in this pan. Yeah. I wonder if you're supposed to wear a mask when doing it. See, they didn't give you any instructions that I can find. Hmm. Maybe they just forgot to put the booklet in mine. I don't know. I'm going to use water brushes. I've got some water brushes over here. I'm going to use these. Where I can add a little water to it. All right, let's play and see what we get. We're gonna have it thoroughly mixed, I'm sure. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that pretty? It's a lovely red. You can water it down too. Make it even more juicy. Oh, I like that. Gonna have to really thoroughly wash these brushes though, so it'll probably be a short video. So I don't want to wreck my brushes. I'm gonna put a little water in it. This is the primary blue. I think I put a little too much water in that one. Now it does say on the package that you can let them dry out. And they'll work just like regular water. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? Let's mix it with the red up here and see if we can get a decent purple. Oh, that's a nice purple. Can you see that one? I like that. Pretty purple. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to have to stop and go wash these brushes out really good. All right, the yellow. Well, that's going to be a lot of paint. Love the way this paints and the colors are beautiful. Let's mix a little of this in with the red up here and see what happens. Well, I guess you need a lot more than I've got. Put some red in here. Well, they mix together nicely. That's a nice orange. Get a nice purple. And I'm sure we could get a nice green. Look how pretty that is. Hmm. 
Let's grab some blue. See if we can make a decent green. Oh, that is pretty. I think I'm going to have fun playing with this. I mean, well, that was fun. I like this box. So, so this was Sketchbox. If anybody knows what month this was, because it was, I think I got my last one last month, maybe. And I did three months. Look at that. Now, before I'm done, I want I told you I would do a follow-up on what I did with the last box that I opened, which was that scroller box that had the um, that had these uh, watercolor sheets in it. Well, what I did was I went to the dollar store and I got myself a makeup bag because what I want to make is a, just a small sketch thing for ideas. You know, when you're, you know, when you're out and about and you suddenly, oh, I have an idea for a painting or an idea for something. I made a couple of these small books. This one's not finished yet because I have it on the binding. And uh, they fit into this makeup bag nicely. They're watercolor paper and mixed media paper. And then I took these and I cut a half an inch off the bottom. And I made these little cards that I'm keeping in because they are quite messy when you get your hands on them. So these are the little watercolor cards I'm going to keep in this little bag. So we've got my little sketch pad in there to write notes on. And I'm going to have a, a water brush in there. So for notes and ideas, I have in that last scroller box, they gave me this mechanical pencil. And I did find out how to use the, um, the end of it screws up. It's the eraser. You just, I don't know if you can see that, see how it, so, so this is going in there. So I have a pencil, watercolor brush, and I haven't decided what kind of pen I'm going to, but I will put one ink pen in there too. And this will fit in my smallest of purses. I'm going to have to cut that one down a little because it's really close to the edge. But this will fit in my smallest of purses. And uh, I have a little travel kit. I'm going to make two of them. I bought two of these bags. This one here, I'm going to put one in the glove box of my car. And then this one will go from whatever purse I'm using. It's very light. It has everything I need for quick sketch, small quick sketches for when I get ideas. And these are only $1.25 at the... And they came with this little one. I don't know what I'll do with the little one, but... I'll find a use for it. Well, thank you very much for viewing my video, but see how messy that stuff was? This stuff will get all over your fingers. you got to be careful. I ruined one of those books that I was doing by getting the stuff all over it. But you can actually take their little the paper they gave you, fold that in half, because that's the perfect size for one of these pouches, too. As you can see, you fold that in half. So I could have just used that, but I actually use Miss Media Paper because... Um, I have a ton of mixed media paper. I bought some when it was on sale and I don't, I used it for printmaking and I, I don't use, I don't do that kind of printmaking anymore. So, um, I've got a ton of it left. Thank you very much for viewing my video. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a lot of fun. If you get this one, these watercolors are nice. I'm going to let these dry because it says you let them dry and they work just like regular watercolors. You can re-wet them. So we're going to test that out and... I'll do some research to find out how much gum arabic I was supposed to use per. If it's on there, it's in very small letters. It's in very small writing, and I can't read it. See how tiny that is? But thank you very much. I, I do enjoy this box. This is nice. But I have two more of those to open. And I also have some um, craft boxes to open, which is going to be fun, too. The uh, different kinds of crafts. Each one's supposed to have something totally different. Well, I'm going to go now and go wash out these brushes really good because they're a mess and let this dry. And I'll let you know next time how this works out once it's dry. It's probably going to take a couple days. So thank you very much for viewing my video and you have a lovely, lovely day.